students today we are going to continue the second prose lesson in our subject the night the ghost got in written by james grover tober students in the previous videos we saw the narrator was in the bathroom he had a strange sound he was very much afraid he thought it was a burglar or a ghost so he went to his brother herman's room they came out and looked downstairs nothing was there they heard the footsteps circling the dining room table like a man running and it started up the stairs towards them so they rushed to their rooms and slammed the doors the narrator's mother was also aroused by the sound so she threw her shoe at their neighbor we just passed the lesson with the students today let us continue the lesson glass tinkled into the bedroom occupied by a retired engraver named bodwell and his wife bodwell had been for some years in rather a bad way and was subject to mild attacks almost everybody we knew or lived near had some kind attack kind of attacks it was now about uh, Two o'clock of a moonless night, clouds hung black and low. Bodwell was at the window in a minute, shouting, frothing a little, shaking his fist. We will sell the house and go back to Pioria. We could hear Mrs. Bodwell saying, "It was some time before Mother got through to Bodwell." Burglars. she shouted burglars in the house herman and i hadn't dared to tell her that it was not burglars but ghosts for she was even more afraid of ghosts than of burglars bodwell at first thought that she meant there were burglars in his house but finally he quieted down and called the police for us over an extension phone by his bed after he had disappeared from the window mother suddenly made as if to throw another shoe not because there was further need of it but as he later explained it because the thrill of heaving a shoe through a window glass had enormously taken her fancy i prevented her students what do we understand in the passages mr bodwell was the name of their neighbor mr bodwell was a retired engraver engraver means a person whose job is to cut words or designs on wood stone metal etc the narrator's family and mrs mr bodwell's family did not have smooth relationship for some years now the narrator's mother through shoe at mr bodwell's window this made mr bodwell angry very much when a shoe was thrown into their house mrs bodwell was shouting angrily and she said we will sell the house and move to pioria to that extent the narrator's family had given so much of trouble to mr mr bodwell's family pioria is a city in central illinois pioria is a city in central illinois now after knowing that there are some burglars in the narrator house mr bodwell called the police now let us see the new words and their meanings in the passages frothing frothing means producing a lot of saliva fist fist in tamil kai mutti a hand when it is tightly closed with the fingers 
bent into the palm. Extension phone An extra telephone line connected to a central telephone in a house. Heaving Heaving means throwing. Throwing Enormously Enormously means large. Fancy Fancy means excitement. Fancy means excitement. Let us continue the next passages. The police were on hand in a commandably short time. A Ford sedan full of them, two on motorcycles and a patrol wagon, with about eight in it and a few reporters. They began banging at our front door, flashlights shot streaks of gleam up and down the walls, across the yard, down the walk between our house and board wells. Open up, cried a hose voice, we are men from headquarters. I wanted to go down and let them in, since there they were. But mother wouldn't hear of it. You haven't, you haven't a stitch on, she pointed out. You'd catch you were dead. I wound the towel around me again. Finally, the cops put their shoulders to a big heavy front door with its thick beveled glass and broke it in. I could hear a rending of wood and a splash of glass on the floor of the hall. Their lights played all over the living room and crisscrossed nervously in the dining room, stabbed into hallways, shot up the front stairs and finally up the back. They caught me standing in my towel, towel at the top. A heavy policeman bounded up the steps. Who are you? He demanded. I live here. I said. Yes, students, what do we understand in these passages? As Mr. Bordwell called the police over the phone, the police came immediately on a Ford sedan. It's a car. On motor also, on motorcycles. And reporters also rushed to, the, to that spot. The police team started the narrator's, started knocking the narrator's door heavily and told them to open the door. As the narrator's family did not open the door, the police uh, men opened and broke the thick bewildered glass. Bewildered glass meaning is given in the glossary, reduced to a sleeping edge. Their torches produced powerful light. One strong policeman coming up the steps asked the narrator who he was. The narrator replied that the policeman, he, he was living in the house. Now, let us see the new words and their meanings in the passages. Commendably. Commendably means deserving praise and approval. Deserving praise and approval. Bang. Bang means to hit something in a way that makes a loud noise. Bang means to hit something in a way that makes a loud noise. Horse. Horse means rough, rough. Cop, cop means a police officer. Cop means a police officer. Crisscross, that means to make a pattern on something with many straight lines that cross each other. Let us continue the next passages. The officer in charge reported to mother, no sign of nobody lady, he said. Must have got away. What, what he like? There were two or three of them, mother said, whooping and carrying on slamming doors. Funny, said the cop. All, yeah, windows and door was locked on the inside tight as a tick. In this passage, students, we can find the policemen are handling every object. In this passage, the cops are just inquiring about the number of burglars. 
who might have entered the house the narrator's mother replied the policeman there were two or three men she said the burglars slammed the door shut the door loudly as they went out of their house there is one new word in the passage whooping w h o o p whoop whoop means whoop which means to shut loudly to shut loudly let us see the next passages downstairs we could hear the tromping of the other police police were all over the place doors were yanked open drawers were yanked open windows were shot up and pulled down furniture fell with the dull thumps a half dozen policemen emerged out of the darkness of the front hallway upstairs they began to ransack the floor pulled beds away from walls tore clothes of cooks in the closets pulled suitcases and boxes of cells one of them found an old zitar that roy had won in a pool tournament looky here joe he said strumming it with a big paw the cop named joe took it and turned it over what is it he asked me it's an old zitar our guinea pig used to sleep on i said it was true that a guinea pig we once had would never sleep anywhere except on the zitar but i should never have said so joe and the other cop looked at me a long time they put the zitar back on the on a shelf students what do we understand in the passages in these passages we can find the policemen are handling every object in the hall roughly they pulled drawers and windows very hard they made the place untidy causing so much of damage if anyone behaves like this in our houses definitely we won't allow them inside our home am i right and after that one of the policemen found an old zitar have you seen zita what is zita it's a musical instrument with a lot of metal strings stretched over a flat wooden box that you play with your fingers so the police man played that musical instrument the narrator said his guinea pig would always sleep on the zita the narrator should not have told like this to the policeman because music is very very important we all give importance to music which gives us happiness music is the hope raiser whenever we feel bored then we prefer or like to listen to music now let us see the new words in the passages and their meanings tromping tromp tromping means to walk with the heavy or noisy steps to walk with heavy or noisy steps yank yank means to pull something hard to pull something hard emerge emerge means to appear ransack ransack means to make the place untidy 